How's everybody doing? Devin Dick, how are you go? How how's the weekend? I see Jetstream, Mighty Fine, Shindig, Beadlocks, Shokan, Mr. Keeps, Zeal is here. KB Warriors. Well, see, I know Devness was was here first. Yeah, so how's everybody? How's everybody doing? The true lazy fart is here as well. An ADB7. And Fun Spoiler. Polishing my SA Oblivion caps. Oh, are you just going to just shine it? Better shine it now than have it inconsistently shine. I'm in my PJs, says Chokan. Wait, is that no work today? And oh, Titty is here as well. How's it going? <clears throat> yeah, so. Apologize for not streaming last week. I was away from Friday to Sunday. And so I couldn't stream on Monday as well because I needed to get a lot of work done before Friday. So I didn't have time. And. I'm glad I ended up streaming Thanksgiving because, yeah, I guess last week was basically my Thanksgiving holiday. The City at Night, thank you so much with the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so it's good to be back. You know, I was away for, yeah, pretty much. You know, I, I, wasn't, I didn't stream for a whole week. And I had fun, though. It was pretty nice. I was away for my younger brother's bachelor party. We went to, we stayed at a hotel in Plano, so, you know, I'm in Plano, but that's, this hotel's really far north Plano, I'm in the south side of Plano, and so, we went there, it was me, my older brother, younger brother, and two of our mutual friends, so basically all three brothers know these two guys, and, you know, so they came in from out of town, and yeah, it was pretty good, we... Went to the National Video Game Museum. It's a thing, apparently. And we were definitely not the target demographic. You know, we didn't grow up playing all these old school console games or, or even console, really. You know, it's not very popular outside of outside of America, or at least in, in, in Asia. And And honestly, I wouldn't even really call it so much a museum. I don't know. It's it, it looked more like it. It felt more like an exhibition than 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 a full on museum. And I think that the the main, my main problem with it was the lights were way too dim. So they used white lights. It was really dim white lights. So it felt like you just in a psych ward. You know how when you go to some sketchy place and it's a white light, but it's a really dim white light. It's not bright enough. So everything just feels kind of crappy and yeah so that's what it kind of felt like and so I think if they had just used either warmer lights either yellow lights or a way brighter whites it would have been it would have been a lot better and we were supposed to go to a something called cidercade so it's an arcade bar kind of thing you pay per entry ten dollars and it's all you can play so you can play all the arcade games that you want and there's overpriced drinks of course to go with it and so the original plan was to do that but you know we'd already gotten sick of all the all the, the games we didn't care about and so you know my younger brother didn't grow up going to arcades much as well and so I suggested going to a land cafe that was, I guess, a little closer. And it's one of those fancy land cafes, you know, cyber cafes, in that cafes. And so, and then thankfully my younger brother was honest and he's like, yeah, you know, I'd much prefer going to that than, than, than arcade with drinks. And so, yeah, so we ended up doing that. And so we were there for two hours, five of us. So all five of us, you know, partied together to, to, to play Dota against get some noobs and, and yeah I mean it's pretty fun overall it's great to 
see my younger brother as always and it was especially nice just because you know I used to live with my younger brother and another one of our friends as well who who was there for the who was here for the weekend and so three of us and you know pretty much all we did was play Dota all three of us together you know and that's one thing we really miss when you know we all moved out and everything because you know sure we could still kind of we could still play online but you know it's not the same feeling anymore you don't get a shot at each other and and yeah so so that was really great because you know it's not something that uh, you know you can really do anymore once you get married and you have family and shit like that so I guess in the end it was it was a fitting way to to end his bachelor career I guess so you get my brother a present I am trying to get him a watch but I think his wrists are smaller than mine so I'm, I've been trying to figure out what watch to get him I don't know yet literally my dorm lighting yes yeah, so it's like dorm lighting yeah so white but not bright enough so it just looks like crap if you have a warm light and it's dim that's fine that's not so bad you know it just feels rustic or whatever but when it's white when it's cool lighting but not but dim or oh, it's it just feels bad fart is apparently a ubisoft restricted word wait really i had no idea i know in overwatch league Twitch chat for the longest time junk was a restricted word as well, even though there's a hero called Junkrat. So like I said they should have you start in a basement and it gets brighter as gaming becomes mainstream. And hey that's that's what they should have. But I mean I think I think if, if you look at some pictures, I think some of you would really appreciate it. You know, there's all these there's basically all the Nintendos, the Ataris, all those consoles, those everything. There were even typing games back when typing games were a thing. And yeah, just, you know, the first ever Game Boy, which is what, 1989? And lots of other things. And so, you know, you guys would appreciate it. But my younger brother, you know, even for me, I was already kind of not in that generation. My younger brother is two years younger than I am. He definitely has no idea about any of that stuff. And all he, he knew was Halo 2. And so that's what he did. And the uh, I guess I guess we're gonna talk about the rest later on but just wanted to let you guys know what I did over the, the weekend while I was away and I hope you guys had a good week I hope you guys got a lot of Thanksgiving ah Black Friday stuff and Cyber Monday what did you guys get I got stuff too much stuff these are games on cassette tapes Wait, cassette tapes? What? You're not that old, are you? Okay, so let's get back to the keyboard real quick. So today we are working on the M60A. I know some people ask, oh, it's not a build. Why are you? Well, that's why it's on a Monday and not a Friday because, you know, there's no way I can use this to fill like three, four hours or whatever. So we're just gonna loop the stabilizers and you know put them put them together, get the, the thing done, put some keycaps on it, do a typing test, and we'll call it. I know some people were asking me to do this, that's why that's why I'm doing this instead of just you know, I could have done this way quicker on my own time. And so let's check it out. And if you are curious about the unboxing experience and you know the assemb the the disassembly and everything then check out the unboxing video it should be on youtube i don't know if it's still on my twitch uh, twitch uh vods but it should be on youtube beatlock says just got notification my adam ship today very nice i know this is not mine so again almost everything you see on stream any keyboard basically most of them are not mine and when it is mine, I'll let you guys know. Oh, what am I doing? I think the board, I think I took the board out there. Yes. I can 
completely forgot. Yeah, so this is a mine. The keycap switches, stabilizers, all not mine. Okay, so let's begin. No, yeah, no. Why buy a Rama when you can get a Xeno from ZPC? Affiliate links in the description. Okay, so. M60A again, we've already looked at this in greater detail. Today we're just gonna finish it up basically. Shane the Gamer says, I got the Xeno. I'm hoping the affiliate link worked. I can't tell if it did. When did you get it? I could be able to. Because the. I know one person asked me to confirm that it worked, but it's kind of late. I think it's. The delay is pretty long. I don't know if it's manually approved or, or whatever. Yesterday night. Hmm. I know the last one was. Yeah, I'll probably have to ask Zeal about it. Let's see. So I think the... Yeah, the one I got was from yesterday morning. And even then it took, I think, over 12 hours or around 12 hours for it to finally show up. So maybe, I don't know. Okay, so let's take these box switches out of the way. So we're just using it to, to hold everything together. Shruti Fart says, I would say that Rama boards do look pretty. Yes. Yes, they do. Yeah, like I said, the anodizing was surprisingly decent. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Wouldn't call it the best, but it's still better than the than most custom keyboards you can buy. I love you, NGB. Ten months in a row. Thank you so much. How's it going, NGB? Did you? get any more audio stuff during Cyber Monday. The Yamo S80, I wanna say sevens are on sale right now for just 220 for a pair. So the floor standing speakers, uh, I think only the ones in black though, but still. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, the weird thing is that People are saying Zio said that the S eight O threes are better than the Ye the the C one O threes and C nine threes. I completely disagree with that. I don't know. Maybe I need to retest them. But when I had the S eight O threes, I thought they were so underwhelming compared to the Yamos. Ah, uh, compared <laughs> they're both Yamos compared to the the C series. Okay, where the hell do I put these? Yes, there is an internal weight in here. Again, if you would like to, to see that all being put together. I mean, I'm gonna take it apart to, to put the stuff in anyway so you would be able to see it. Get one because I'm gonna haul mine around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about using hot swap boards as as mobile daily keyboards. You know, if I'm moving it around, I would get kind of paranoid about 
so just just falling out because if you don't treat it with care keycaps can fall out pretty easily uh, and stuff like that so you you'll have to you have to get a proper bag for it like a not another crappy you know soft bag you you probably want something a bit more protective because yeah because if you hit it at the wrong angle or whatever you could easily just lift the switch off or someone who is a bit too touchy can just come by and pluck something out NGB says, nah, not anymore, but keeping an eye out. Got everything set up though. New Denon receiver is awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe I should get a better receiver for my floor standing speakers. I don't know yet. Not necessary right now. Because the Yamo S series is very efficient. Whereas, no, not S, uh, the C series, very efficient. But the S one isn't really. Okay, so I gotta be careful with this thing. Uh, I will say the weight distribution is really wonky. So when you're trying to take everything apart and put everything back together, it's kind of a little strange. What do we call that color? I think this one was called, was this called? Not Sage, oh, is this one called? Scoop BB, hey, welcome to the stream. Of course, the super cool PCB. I believe we're supposed to screw something into the top. We'll figure that out later. Yes, there are two screw, four screw points here. So we'll deal with that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and start working on the stabilizers. Okay, so since both Mr. Keeves and Chokan are here, and we've got 40 people here now, please do not forget to check out my two friends and their respective channels. Chokan has the most interesting content about keyboards on YouTube, for sure. Very original stuff. The most original. You know, he's, he's, he has very good genes. He's very stable. He's the most stable person you'll ever meet. New videos dropping this week, see? So, if you want to catch the latest video, please check it out. And Gawk is here too. How's it going? Gawk has an M60A. He's thinking about selling it. It's called Dusk. Okay, so yeah, so this is called Dusk. But what would you call this color though? Not what Rama calls it, but what would you call it? Ro no, it's not rose gold at all. I would not call it rose gold at all. It has pretty much no hint of gold in it. It is redder than it looks on camera right now. Okay, see, so if we see, so once you zoom in and you look at the, the color, look at that. Yeah, so it is not like, say, the iPhone rose gold or whatever. It is very... See, compared to say some pink foam, look at that. See, so it's definitely more red. No, 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 no. So rose gold is supposed to be closer to orange than. It's supposed to be a mix, you know, gold and rose, so reddish gold. So yeah, so it's supposed to look like copper, it's supposed to look like orange. This does not look like orange at all. At all.
Wait. If I need to get a better cam- No, this is not a webcam. I think that- The color is pretty accurate here. It's probably your monitor. Okay, so let's start looping. Yeah, because this monitor here, which is what I'm looking at for the, the preview, is calibrated already. Yeah, it does not look anything like orange here at all. A monitor calibrated by double. Oh my. Oh my, that explains. Mav, uh, I guess. Hold on, let's see. Like a light. Oh, uh, yeah. Mav. Is it even pronounced Mav? Let's see. Move. Move. Yes, I would say yeah, I would say move, yeah, that's for sure, that's what I would call it. Move versus rose gold. Move, <laughs> plum apparently. <laughs> okay, so see here, here's a real, here's a real quick okay see so when you were saying rose gold and you're saying that it looks like rose gold look at look at how it does not look like rose gold look at that rose gold is a bit more orange a bit more salmon this is supposed to be plum I think and then this is mauve and yeah so it's gonna it's in between these two colors and it's definitely not this or, or this if it looks like this to you either the monitor is fucked up or you should go design some keycap sets. Okay, so... What's this here? Yes, Joke is here, Chokan, your favorite favorite artist. And Vomin Doran as well, how's it going? Okay, so we're gonna start with lubing the stabilizers now. So this belonged to Rugar. He was also the guy who had the pearl from you know, a long time ago. And so this one also uses zeal stabilizers. So that's what we're gonna do. That actually grease. I'm gonna talk too much about it. We do the same thing all the time anyway. Man, I have not kept up with GMK Necro in a week or two. What's even going on now? I know now all the the latest rage is on the endangered species, the panda. The face of the Is it the WWF? The face of Gina. Because word is, word on the street is, there's a lot of people trying to get in on that, that money. So right now it's just a matter of who is first to the game or who makes the most friends. Or I guess more appropriately, who has it the cheapest? Yeah, so apparently everything's just been on about that.
Scoop says, can you use that electric grease? No. Electric, oh, electric contact grease. Is there a reason? So what is the viscosity of electric contact grease? Because it just depends on how thick it is. All right, so for example, like this, that actually grease. You do not want to put this near any switches. Yeah, so it's mainly that, and then of course, you know, how, how well it stays or how it spreads, stuff like that. Why is what? Yeah, way too thick. That's why we put them in stabilizers, because we are not trying to make the stabilizers feel smoother, because that's not how they that's not how stabilizers work. They don't work like switches really. The the main reason you use that grease is to fill in the gaps between the plastic and the metal parts. And I know my explanations have been copied pretty much word for word by at least two sources, but yes, I I think it's gotta be a year and a half now that, that I first mentioned that. Yeah, that, that Lubin stabilizers functions quite differently from Lubin switches. So we've got one stabilizer done, let's keep going. Feel, feel that gaping hole. Need to get my copy video up. Dude, you should, you absolutely should. Honestly, if you wanna make a, a guide or anything like that, it'll really help with views, of course. Or typing tests. And if you need any sort of help or anything, just let me know, I'll be, I'll be glad to help. You can make the YouTube video. I have no interest in making YouTube videos, truth be told. I, I just like streaming and that's it. Should says, we're the one that popularized the use. Yeah, yes. I was the first one to use dielectric grease with the finish line flora, and I was the first one to use the earwax picker tool, and the first one to, to really talk, to, to put into words how the thick loop works and why you don't want to lube the plastic parts and stuff like that. And then, yeah, just got ripped off, basically. I mean, it's not something we're patenting, but it's just kind of... And, you know, I don't... I don't want to say... I don't want to... just annoying when you you put in a lot of work 
put a lot of effort and time into something and then you see just being copied almost verbatim Shogun says it might be a while maybe end of December I heard they stopped producing since they got overwhelmed and were worried the quality would slip for the DM6 nice Natali how's it going how have you been Ooh, since you're here, I, I am. I haven't had dinner, but I have those those pizzas in the fridge. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And yeah, missed missed all of you. You of course tell. It's a intellectual property that doesn't say attached. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Which is why you know I'm not saying that that it's my thing or whatever, but. just annoying when other people use it for their own gain it's one thing to, to, to actually want to help people out and then it's another thing to use it just for yourself okay so the nice thing about HHKB layouts is you only need three stabilizers so that's the only thing that's nice about it. Literally the only thing. I know Gok has been enjoying his HHKB layout, right? Gok? Yeah, I can't remember which PC builder it was that was using the Natch screws I was set. This was really old. This thing has got to be three years old now. Yeah, so I think it was some PC builder was using it or showing it on stream. I can't remember who it was. I wonder where Trashorama is. I, 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 we also went to, or at least we just went to go see it. There was this coffee place called Nerdvana, and so he mentioned going there as well. He says it's one of his favorite places in in Dallas. But we also went there just to check it out. But of course, you know, I think pretty much only my elder brother could really appreciate it. It's basically board games, you know, coffee shop with board games is what it is. Because I'm not, I'm not big into board games, pretty much at all. I think the the last time I played board games was with a couple of couples, at least, or maybe it was three couples. I don't remember, and that that all that that fucking drama just made me just quit board games altogether. Like, I'm sick of this shit. There's people taking it too personally, especially when it's, you know, spouses. Uh, why are you, why are you trying to, why are you trying to sabotage me? 
Mm. Is it because I didn't do the dishes? It's like, dude, sh shut the fuck up. We don't need to know about any of that stuff. And then they start crying and shit. It's like, oh my god. I think maybe I just like to I just I just like to avoid those awkward situations. Maybe that's what it is. Chess is the only good board game. Wait, so Zeal, do you do you actually play a lot of chess? Because for example, God, you you know my my good friend God, he he's a moderator here as well. Uh, he's a guy with all those expensive boards you you used to see on stream. His fiance is a really good chess player, really, really good. Uh, I have never really been a good chess player. I, I, it, it's always quite funny how it works out. Cause even in video games as well, you know, I like to think, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty smart guy, you know. You know, at least in. You know, I do well in school and stuff like that, and I think, you know, yeah, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm more of a, I'm more of a brain over bronze kind of guy, you know, I've, I've got more, you know, brain cells than muscles, you know, I'm, 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 I'm you know, that's what, that's what I'm good at, and then I play, and then in video games though, or just any kind of board games or whatever, I cannot do long-term shit, I am so bad. And you know, I find out just how actually how, how dumb I am. So in games as well, what I'm good at is the reflexes and not even just the fucking, not even the strategy. I'm actually really bad at it. I like to think, see, it, it's, it's more just, you know, your ideal self or the way, you know, you perceive you, yeah, your ideal self and your actual self. So my ideal self and how I, I like to think I am is that, oh yeah, I'm this really, I'm a, I'm a strategist, you know? Got a lot of strategy and stuff like that, and but turns out I I, I really don't, you know, and, and especially in, in video games and stuff like that, it really really comes to show that I'm I'm not all that bright, or at least maybe it's just I don't know, but but yeah, I'm better at just being quick at stuff, and that's it, and and so something like chess, it, it it's not gonna work for me because. Sure, I can try to get that rook, or I can try to get that that knight, or whatever, that bishop, but I lose the game. You know, I win the, I win the, I win the, what is it, win the battle, but lose the war. So, you know, maybe there are other people who think, oh yeah, you know, I wonder what it's like, right? And if you think, yeah, you know, I'm a very athletic guy, you know, but actually, you know, this is genius. Maybe that's what Einstein was. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm not very smart. I'm more of a, I'm more of an athlete. And turn, he turned out to be a genius, but you know he was actually really disappointed. Said, Yo, but I had to give up my lifelong dream of being a football player, making atom bombs and and solving theories and shit. Chess of the long con. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, that's the thing. So it could work against noobs, right? Cause you're good at the 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 short-term objectives but if you're playing against anyone experienced you're gonna lose for sure because they know that's what you're trying to go for and yeah so they're gonna win the game exactly yeah you're just gonna get debated It, it, it happens pretty often. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna be able to do this and this. It's such a smart move, you know. And because I'm thinking, you know, oh yeah, I'm planning so far ahead, like five steps ahead, and the other guy's planning thirty steps ahead. The double, triple threes. Played chess in elementary. Oh, nice. See, I was in the, the chess club as well, but not because they picked me. It was just a club, and I just joined it because I thought, eh, you know, I can do. I'm, I'm okay. 
And yeah, of course, yeah, like I said, of course it takes practice for sure. You know, and I would say most of them start off in practice. But, you know, there are also people who... But again, you know, that's why I like to think, you know, oh yeah, you know, I don't need this practice, you know. I can, I can, I can think this through, but really you can't, you know. A lot of it boils down to practice. Because there are some people who, even the first time playing board games, you know, they can... I guess it maybe because they've played a lot of board games and a lot of them end up being similar. But you know, you know, you you'll know people who maybe you are, maybe maybe you are the genius. Also, donation links down there if you like what I. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there are people who you know, it's the first time playing a board game or whatever, and and they will school you. They'll figure it out real quick, and. That's why I think that I like to think, oh yeah, I'm that guy. But I'm not, you know. I'm really not that 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 smart. Yeah, but I, I have friends who are like that for sure. Okay, so we've got the stabilizers in. Connect five, connect four. Wait, what is this? I've never heard of this. Five in a row, Gomoku. Five in a row. Oh, actually, okay. I have played, okay, okay. Then, yes, I have played this. Not a lot of it, though. <laughs> We, we used to play that in school. Yeah, I've never heard it called Omok. Tyler says, like life in a way, the long con. Nobody gets out of here alive. Yes. You think, ah, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Chokan Wee says, we are clearly a smart bunch here. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, even in Scrabble as well, you know, there are the really good players, they plan, you know, they, 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 they set themselves up basically, or they, they, they set you up to help them. And, you know, I don't do that. All I do is, you know, the, like I said, you know, the last time I played Scrabble, all I did was just, I was just blocking people out. I was just making sure that they couldn't get what they wanted. And that was all I did. And I won. Just doing that. Just making sure that nobody won. Um, yeah, but of course, a really good player is not going to let me get away with that. Yeah, so it kind of sucks. You know, the, I think that the time I realized that I had, uh, maybe I really am not that, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a strategist. You know, because I know even, even in Dota, for example, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, Back then, when I was trying to climb, you know, the ranks and stuff like that, you know, I would always win my lane. But when it comes to the mid to late game, you know, just making decisions and then moving around the map and stuff, you know, I, I did it well. And again, I could probably a lot of it just practice. I didn't play as much as other people did. Okay, so we've got the stabilizer done. Now let's go ahead and put the switches in. I think we have to screw some things in. We have to put some switches and screw. The, the PCB onto the top. Do we screw it in first? I guess we can screw it in first, right? Okay. Or should I put switches in first? Where are the zillions? There we go. Scoop BB says, we still like you even if you are a self proclaimed dummy. Oh, yes. Then again, though, I mean, a lot of it's just... Yeah, and so, okay, so for example... Okay, another example. You know, I think that, you know, I can play strategy games and stuff like that. You know, that's what I think I can do. That's, you know, that's my perception of myself, or at least what, you know, it used to be or whatever. But the games I'm good at are, 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 are stupid things like Tetris. You know, where it's just almost mindless. It's just being fast, and that's it. And, yeah, so... 
I, I can't remember what it was a few years ago when I realized that, holy shit you know the games that I actually am good at are just all these quick games that really didn't need a lot of processing power at all and the ones that required patience and stuff like that can do it Tally says the real long game is in deciding whether it's a worthwhile investment if you're trying to play in a realm in which you know that you're not superior yes to know when to when to quit to know whether it's worth it to keep going Zeal says I played Scrabble against an AI at Com Computax Flex basic English vocab was an actual robot and the show booth people didn't know what I was spelling <laughs> what, what words were you using? One Save Gaming is here too, how's it going? Heal me. Do you still play Overwatch a lot, Zeal? I used to play a lot of it. I have not played. I didn't. I stopped playing ever since they they did the they introduced Brigitte and buffed Hanzo way too much after the rework. I played uh, I think about a month and then I just stopped. I I got so sick of Hanzo. Yeah, I stopped before they 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 started nerfing him. They didn't nerf him. Completely in the end, but they started doing it by the time I was I stopped playing. Is up to here? They're trying to nerf Brigitte now, but lol, like big though, instant win to GM. Yeah, it's. I remember my my first few times playing her and then Diamond. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, all I was doing was just I was just swinging shit, and then oh my spells are on cooldown. Use it on somebody. Oh, use a spell on somebody. Oh, there's someone, you know, oh, and then, you know, because you're always so close to everyone, there's almost always a target to shield bash anyway. And so, yeah, you're basically just swinging, 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 oh, hit this thing, oh, make, and then, you know, just make sure you keep an eye on, on the other healer, and that's it. And I would, you know, I hated myself playing that hero, I'm just like, you know, sure, it's an easy win, but god damn, I'm not having fun, you're just... Swing, swing, swing. Oh, look. Oh, on cool, off cooldown. Let me use this spell now. That's that's basically it. It was so stupid. And I kept winning. Von's Gred, welcome to the stream. He says Tetris ain't stupid. No, but that's in... You know, there's only so much you need to think. Compared to, say, a, a, a game of chess. Where things are always changing, you know. So Tetris is very... That's, that's basically it. Not negative. Hello, hello, welcome back. You're finally yellow again and subscribe for seven months in a row. Thank you so much. Zeal says the new shoddy hero looks cool. Yeah, but it's another form of CC. I'm 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 so done with all the new heroes with with crowd control. Everyone has a fucking stun, it's so annoying. And the thing is they, they don't have heroes that can strip crowd control really, other than Zarya, I think. Is there anyone else now that can do it? Oh no, I'm not saying it has no strategy. Right, I'm not saying there's no strategy at all. There definitely is strategy. And that's what I'm saying. That That's the kind of strategy that I can do. You know? That's the extent of it, basically. Or that, you know, I... I, 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 I or I fall back to that. You know, that's like... As much as I can do. I'm not saying... Yeah. Because, yeah, I used to play attaches competitively. You know, like, actual... I mean, not not professionally, but competitively. And yes, of course, there is strategy to it. And you do need to think really quickly. But again, like I said, it's it's you don't you're not thinking, you know, like half an hour ahead. You're not thinking two hours ahead. You're not thinking so much. You know. So you know, I can't. You cannot. You really cannot compare it to to a game of chess. You cannot compare it with with say a. a Crazy game of Civ, Civ 6, I guess. If it's, is it 6 now? Yeah. You know. So I'm saying that, you know, I think that I can do all those strategy games, but really, you know, I'm just good at games like, you know, arcade games like Tetris. That's, that's, that's basically it. Or at least I just haven't devoted the time to playing those strategy games. They got rid of Molten Core. 
Lava core? Wait, what? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I remember seeing that. But I don't play Torb though. I don't play Torb at all. So I wouldn't know. I... My most played heroes... Junkrat, Farah, Zenyatta, Winston. And then... Was there anyone else? And then Mora, I think. Yeah, those are my most played five heroes. My Mora was top... Top 600 on over buff for quite a while I never really continued playing her because so I played her I spammed her for a bit but then I kind of stopped because I was playing Farah I think I think if I had continued playing I would have easily broken into top 500 for Mora not top 500 overall but top 500 Mora for sure But yeah, so if you notice anything, it's all the heroes that don't need aim. Von, Von's grad says, just nothing to keep mine occupied, but the amount you use so small, a portion you actually rest. Oh, for sure. I love Tetris. You know, I would stream Tetris if I can, although I haven't played in a long time. But, but that's why I'm saying that, you know, I'm not making a dig against Tetris. I'm just saying that it's a very different form of game compared to these other, you know, long run strategy games. You know, it's stuff like, say, Snake, Temple Run. If you, know, you guys would remember that, I, I think. You know, yeah, Though, that's the kind of shit that, that I'm good at and not... <laughs> not all those strategy games and that, that require tactics and, and patience and all that, fortunately. And so I'm, I was just using it as, as an example, just saying that, you know, I think this is who I am, but really I'm not, unfortunately. I just played Civ to get Gandhi's OP power. You don't, you, you, you know why he is over aggressive, right? Have you heard about how the, how the mechanics work and how the code works? How he ended up, be, how Gandhi ends up being hilariously aggressive? Zeus says Winston's tickle the win. You'd be surprised at the amount of bad Winston stuff. But yeah, so I did not play Diva, for example. I just yeah, so that was basically it. If we needed a tank or something, and you know, it wasn't there wasn't a counter to Winston, then I'll play Winston. And if not, then it would be obviously preferably I would play Pharaoh or Junkrat. If not, then Winston and then Zenyatta, Mora, whatever. So yeah. So at least, guy, I know some people who only play one role. I've made sure to play, you know, th all the, the, the three main roles. No aim, no brain, Winston main. Hey, exactly. But if you can lose to a no brain, that just makes you bad. Then again, people were losing to, to Brigitte as well, and she does not require a brain at all. At all. They should have just made her a blonde hero. Would have fit the, the lore. Angie B says, I love RPGs. What kind of RPGs do you play? Sims. <laughs> Shazzy Fire says, if Winston mains would tickle the enemy healers to death more often, that would be a happy person. Yeah. I used to just look for the, the healers. That was always the fun part. You used to be able to hunt down Hanzos. Not anymore. Well, I guess maybe, I don't know about now, but my God. I stopped playing when you couldn't do that anymore. When, when... Hanzo basically had the upper hand every time. And I think they reverted the change for Widow, right? Did they increase the cooldown on Grapple? Because that was my problem as well. When they made Grapple lower cooldown than Winston's Leap, that was so fucking dumb. Why should the Sniper have one of the best mobility skills in the game? Why? Just why? What kind of fucking logic is that? You know, Snipers in most games are horribly slow. Because of their, their, 
long range ability. Right, you have to you have to balance around that. But no, not in Overwatch. Ooh, snipers, let's give them really good mobility so they can move around and you can't even hunt them down. ADB says, got my first Topper board a few minutes ago. Sounds freaking amazing. Very nice. Which one did you get? NGB says, playing YS8 right now on the Pioneer Floor Standing Field. Nice. So, Von's Gret, what Tetris game do you play? I have been looking for a... a a reliable and consistent Tetris game because my problem is a lot of Tetris games nowadays they introduce too many it's not it doesn't feel like Tetris anymore if you know what I'm saying they add too much shit to it until it's like you know crazy ass power-ups and stuff and I'm like what the hell I just want something more basic something that that doesn't go too far away from the game Ogs. It's either OG Swanklord or Ogs Wanklord. I'm gonna assume it's Ogs Wanklord one. You play MPG? No, I I do not. But I I did buy Artifact. I've not played it a lot, but it's it's made by the the maker of MTG. So maybe, but. Yeah, that was the latest game I got. So I didn't even really buy anything during the Steam fall sale. Okay, so the true lazy fart. The way Gandhi works in Civ is he has, I think it's aggression, right? So his aggression is something it's super low. He's the lowest of all. So it's something like one or or whatever. Okay, so think about it that way. So like one out of a hundred. So. Gandhi's aggression level is 1 out of 100 and when you advance your civilization if you pick diplomacy and stuff like that then your aggression goes down and so the way it works is the base is not just zero so say you know you keep increasing it and say you get a minus 5 aggression okay and so instead of going minus 5 oh the minimum is 0 so he's going to be at 0 no minus 5 turned into 90 something Right, so okay, or maybe minus two. So it went from being one to 99. Yeah. And so that's why he just goes over the top and he's just nuking you all the time. So that's, yeah, that's that was the, the, the way the, 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 the bug was or whatever. And in the end, they just kept it. They're just like, you know, the people love that, 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 that bug. And so they just kept it in all the sieves. Yeah, you can look it up. Pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And so it was not intentional. But then they've they've kept it, and so now it's intentional, I guess. One said, "Gaming says Mora, Diva, Orisa, Zen. I used to play some Orisa, only on some maps though. Uh, which map was it? There was one map that I would always play Orisa on. Oh, that's right." Junker Town attack. Fuck Junker Town, man. And I said that as a Junkrat. And I was a Junkrat main. Fuck Junker Town. It's just hilarious that he's not even good on his own map. He's alright for defending the last point or the second point, but the first point, holy shit, he gets owned so hard. And he says, my woman has been playing Dr. Mario. Wait, that's in the the arcade game? The the OG Candy Crush, basically? God, I was like, I feel kind of cheated by this build stream. Well, you should. You're not paying for any of this. Von's Gret says, that was my problem too. Tetris for me was just Tetris. It was about consistency and relax. Not flashbangs and ulti like screen cleaners. See, yeah, that's the thing. Because I can deal... I can, you know, I like the... the, the PvP style of Tetris where it has some of those things, but not a lot. The new Tetris games all have way too much stuff. And so, you know, so all I'm looking for is just kinda, you know, enough to make it interesting but not too much. But the problem is that most games now are just more of the arcade stuff. So it's kinda like how, you know, Mario Kart isn't really a racing game. 
right? It's more of the arcade, you know, more of that 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 style than a than a racer. And so yeah, the same thing with the Tetris as well. It goes too far. A lot of the modern modern Tetris games go too far with all the new mechanics and stuff like that. And it's like what? I'm not playing Tetris anymore. And you can, and then a lot of them have microtransactions where you buy power ups and shit. Tally says, I watch more coding channels than massive multiplayer online game channels. Nice. Have you been watching? What's his name? There's. He does the, the Serpent AI. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I, I've watched a few of his streams. Super great guy, super friendly. Now I want to play Civ again. <laughs> oh no, this thing. Okay, so it's screwed in. Rest of the build together. Bonds Gray says, I just dropped all PC versions. Bought myself NAS clone, an NES clone. Rigged heavy controller almost from scratch and going old school. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I used to play the. I think it's Tetris Battle, the one on Facebook, before it became just a fucking. Became Ad Central. So yeah, so before the introduction of ads and stuff like that, I used to I used to play that game a lot. I was max ranked for all the modes pretty much. And then they introduced a lot of microtransactions, a lot of ads and stuff like that, and then I just stopped playing. And then no time to launch a TV, I used twenty forty eight as a substitute. Nice. I've never played Dr. Mario multiplayer. I've only ever played a single player. I think it was on a oh, Game Boy. Yeah. Tyler says, it's surprising, surprising to me anyway, number of people in the keyboard community that are also accomplished programmers. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too surprising. I mean, you know, who else spends that much time on a keyboard? It's basically their livelihood. But yeah, literally everyone, right? Almost everyone is a coder or an engineer. Moki Doki, long time no see. How are you doing? Five months in a row. Thank you so much for the resub. Shows you far says see. It's funny. I'm terrible at Tetris. I die in five seconds. My reaction time is kind of shit. See, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. So, I think that what I'm good at is the brain part, is the thinking part. But really, I was just good at the reaction thing. That was making up for my lack of brain, basically. You finished soldering already? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! You should have just pretended it was a joke. Yeah, I've really improved my build method. See, in just less than an hour, I've 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 put it all together. Actually, I should test the stabilizers. I did not do that. Whoops! Whoops! It's gonna be a pain if one of them ends up not working. These are the Zillio 62 gram switches. Okay, so that works. That's good. That works too. That works as well. All right, so everything works. That's good. I love you. Blammy boy, if the tier one sub, welcome to the footlong sub club. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. And yeah, I mean, it's in the title, right? Is it in the title? I think it's in the title. Zillio, 62 grams of chips. Order number prefix. Wait, what? Oh, sleep sin. Hello, how's it going? Okay, so we've got the... I'm not gonna take the cable apart. I think that's kind of trouble, so I'm just gonna keep it in here. Where is my USB C cable? I think I'll just go back to sleep. Alright, alright. 
Yeah, this is why I'm, I'm doing it on Monday instead of on a Friday. Because, yeah, this is not a full build. Not at all, right? So that's why I'm doing it here. I might maybe work on the... Oh, I don't know. Yet. I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. It's Friday, I mean. Waiting on Xylence. I think I have some Xylence or Helios hitting my way, right? Zeal? Because... I remember they were just supposed to be V2 switches. And so, yeah, I haven't received the word from anyone. Oops. Because I'm supposed to build, I think, at least two boards with those switches. Okay. So... So let's find out how integrated plate sounds. I know Zeal really likes integrated plate. He said if he had the chance, he would have made the Zephyr integrated too. <laughs> okay, so keycaps. I think that's the build, right? Okay, and I need to plug the board in as well. Where's my USB-C cable? Where the hell is it? Idea where my USB-C cable went. Oh, it's right here. This is the problem of having all black cables. If you look over here, all my USB cables and all the other cables are all black. So it's really hard to figure out where when I, when I need to find a specific cable. Ah, of course, the center USB. God damn it. There we go. Get some of that RGB. Man, the stabilizers aren't lighting up though. What a damn shame. I love you. Base underscore 11 months in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's almost a year. Almost our anniversary. It is getting the Xeno. Yes, I actually am. I'm getting black with rose gold. I thought I was going to get silver or black, but I think I have too many silver things. And Deving Dig's black key cult. Made me really want to get a blackboard now because it looks really nice on my white desk. Let me see if I can give you a picture of. Where is it? So, and I don't have a black custom board. Most of my stuff is silver and gray. That's a good centered cable. Ugh, that's, that's just so, this really grinds my gears. Cause yeah, it's, it's almost impossible to get a completely straight cable. And I think that Center really only looks nice when it's the cable is straight out, at least from here, or a perfect curve. And so I really do not like center USB cables. I get why it's nice for promos and stuff like that. But you know, and then this assemble you know, without the cable obviously it looks nice. But when it's plugged in and at an actual desk, I really do not like the way it looks.
Yuck, yes, this one does have an internal weight. Yes, yes. Did you get one of an internal weight? I don't remember if you mentioned it. Vaughn's Grant says, imagine a bomb squad trying to defuse your bomb. Unscrew the backplane and suddenly OMG, they're all black. <laughs> all the cables, yeah. All right. Cut the green wire, but don't touch the red wire. No oh, black. Yamo steal the show, of course. I actually have a picture where it's it, it it Okay, hold on. So one of those pictures. Okay, so you see that second picture, right? I have one where Let's see. Key cult number one, where is it? Here we go. Damn it, where did that picture go? Okay, which one is this? Okay, see, so I have one where the focus is on the board. Is that even the correct picture? It's not even the correct picture, god damn it. Here we go. So I have one that that is focused on the the key cult, and another one where it's on the real star of the show. Just get an and pro. Oh man, did you guys see that post about the and pro? And people were like, this how is it? Even, you know, I I can't. Imagine how anyone would not like the end pro or something like that. And someone called it his, his or someone was saying it's his end game or whatever. Ah, young love. Gox says, I think the way at the back does nothing except for aesthetics. Well, of course. But it still does add some mass to it, so it does something, I guess. Okay, so these keycaps are Imsto black on black. Japanese so again these are not mine these are all going to be shipped to Rugar and so ooh, I should probably oh, yeah. HBA, 200 bits, thank you so much Gox is the one of bottom helps with the sound have you tried it without the back weight as well Von Zgrad says, yeah, when cable is part of aesthetics, it's like large screws on the front panel of anything. Blow watches come to mind. When you make screws part of aesthetics, suddenly you have to leave the heads perfectly angled to some general scheme. Yeah, for sure. Which is why, which is why, I, sure, it, this looks nice, right? Having the USB oh, yeah. in the middle like that. Sure, that's cool and all, but when you do put the cable in, I really do not like the way it looks because it, it's almost impossible to keep the cable straight. Whereas if you just put it on the side, that's fine. Yeah, but if you put it just right down the middle, then, you know, your cable's sticking out, it's gonna be really hard for you to align it. And then that also means you cannot do any right angle stuff. You cannot have it stick out at 90 degrees. Whereas if you just put it on either side, that will look okay. And Chokan, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you so much. 400 bits. Yeah, so don't forget to check out Shokan's YouTube channel. Please don't. New video dropping this week. His new EP.
Oh, Chokan, have I mentioned that my younger brother also wants to be an, is also going to be an English teacher? Yeah, that's the one that's getting married. The best part is his future father-in-law does not believe in public schools. The, the, the future father-in-law thinks that teachers are paid too much in America. Thinks that teachers have the easiest jobs in the world and they're paid too much. And so it's going to be fun for, for my brother, I guess deal with that yeah I hope so too I hope he gets a yet I don't think they've really decided on which school district they want to go to yet Bonsgrat says center works only when you have only the keyboard to consider which in function setup is never yep which is why yeah if it's just a keyboard without the cable without anything else center looks nice but you know you want it to fit everything else. You want it basically in its natural environment. Not just the keyboard, but you know, the keyboard in use. Yeah, and I do not like center cables when it's... And a lot of people have it centered and then with a coiled cable and then stuff like that. I really do not like it with centered and coiled. I think it looks so dumb. Or centered and then... Or centered and then the cable is straight out and then coiled on this end. So it goes like that. And I'm like, the fuck? You know, it makes sense if it's on the side, but on the center, that that does not look nice. Oops. Teachers drive Lexus there. Oh, absolutely. b lock says teachers barely have enough to live, considering most have to get side jobs during summer. Oh, I know, yeah. Which is why that guy, that guy is just... That guy is just a fucking retard is what he is. Yeah, he he told my my brother that because my brother's marrying an American and my brother obviously is not American. We're not American. My, only my elder brother is American because he was born in the US. The rest of us were not. And he told my brother he could not marry his girlfriend or his fiance until he became a US citizen which you know pretty much the fastest you can do for most people the fastest is 12 years who the fuck would <laughs> yeah so one of those yep kids are all homeschooled He would probably choose not to vaccinate his kids if he had the option. I think maybe they aren't. I don't know. Wouldn't be surprised. Chokan says, my mother-in-law was totally cool with me. I love her. See, that's nice. Yeah. So... Both the parents, because they, they, so I've mentioned Abilene before, you know, the, the shitty town I spent four years in. And yeah, so that family, you know, that girl grew up in Abilene. And so it's basically Kikona Central, that's what it is. And yes, pretty, pretty bad. Blink if she's standing behind you. Train the Gamer says, maybe university professors get paid a lot, but not K-12. Oh, yes, for sure. American teachers are severely underpaid, which is a big problem because if you underpay them, you know, then you're not going to get the best of the best. You're not going to get the brightest. Or, you know, it's going to be super hard to get the brightest. And, and then, you know, Teachers are going to be bad, and then you're going to think, oh, they're bad. They don't deserve to be paid this much. And then it just keeps 
getting worse and worse and worse. Yep, look at the Scandinavian countries. Look at Finland, for example. The teachers are very well compensated and it shows, you know, great education system. And yes, these are installed Japanese. Chokan says, teaching English is easy, it's just talking, right? Yes, exactly. I don't get why you complain. Oh, also speaking about complaining, how's that co-worker? We have not heard about her in a long time. Bad news caps, five months in a row, thank you so much with the giggity. Also bad news caps, I don't know if you were here when I was doing the, the FR4 plate for the key count number one, I know that. That group buy with the key card number one ended up being uh, you know huge pain in the ass, but I, yeah. So I don't know if you were there for the stream when I said that it was definitely the best plate that I've seen and, and worked with. And I want to say you did an amazing job with the plate. In terms of aesthetics, one hundred percent is the nicest plate I have seen, for sure. And the dimensions, everything, it fit well into the key card, into the case, switches fit tightly which is what they're supposed to do it just so happened that i think that the yeah mod switches couldn't fit because well mod switches are fucked up but you know it fit perfectly with cherry switches and so just i don't know if you were here when i was saying that but yeah you did you did great and i hope that you will make more plates for other boards because they are super nice the gamer says I work at a business school in IT the faculty make so much more money and they complain about buying their own iPhone charge what really <laughs> iPhone chargers that's what they complain about Andrea says they're paid decently but not as much as internet things but they respect that oh no yeah I'm not saying that that's why I'm saying I'm not saying that they are paid an insane amount. I'm saying that they are well compensated. That means they at least get what they deserve. Whereas teachers who really do not get what they deserve. If you break it down by the hours they work, they really get paid shit over here. And the system is is pretty bad as well. It's designed to, to fail a lot of the 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 system the. the it is, this is not very well done, especially because states have, have a lot of power, so some states are just horrible with that stuff. Okay, so no control key here, we're not. Whoops, that's not the right one. Words spoken to her last month. Five! Is she still... So, hold on. Does she sit beside you in the office? So why do you end up having to interact with her? How are you forced to interact with her? Bad News Cap says, Yeah, I had a high number of plates that didn't make the tolerances I was looking for. I'll look for the volume when you used it. I missed it. Yeah. So, just want to say again, just very well done. I was I was super impressed, and it ended up sounding and feeling pretty nice as well. So, but in terms of aesthetics, just nothing nothing beats it, and you know fit and everything, just so good. That doesn't sound bad. I thought I had the up arrow somewhere here. Where did that key go? What? I definitely took it out and then I have no idea where I put it now. Uh, 
Oh, wrong bag. Chuck, I said, she sits next to me. Some lesson content overlaps so much. Communicate. Oh, no. Oh, no. So does she teach English as well? What does she teach? That, yeah. That's the kind of shit that I'm afraid of. I think that's, you know, like I said, you know, that's why I, I ended up not playing board games at all. Just because I, I just didn't like that kind of conflict. I really don't like it. And yeah, I cannot imagine... I'm gonna sit beside someone that's a piece of shit. Oh, having to work with someone like that. Okay, look at look at this shit. <laughs> look at where it's positioned. This is the tilde key, right? So I, I grabbed it out of all the caps and I thought it was a number three, so I just put it in the <laughs> number three. Whoops. My eyes don't just deceive me. I'm already feeling the case, the cat case and caps color combination. Not mine again. And I really want to put my own keycap set on it. Because every time I do that, that means extra work for me because I have to take them off again. Yeah, so if you're not liking it, oh well. I don't think this is even what it's supposed to end up being anyway. But it's just that I'm supposed to ship these keycaps and, and the board and some other things as well. This just looks so empty. Until the key is supposed to be all the way on the left side, right? The right side, right? But I just don't like the way it... Ah, no one can see it anyway, whatever. It's black and black. You can't tell anyway. Chuck says, integrated plate looks so clean, especially with single layout. Oh yeah, and another thing I guess that ends up being nice is that with integrated plate, one of the reasons you see the Tokyo 60 having such big gaps, one main thing is because you definitely need space for the the integrated plate to, 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 to bend in a way. It's CNC, so it's not actually a bend or whatever, but you get what I'm saying. For the, the plate and the, the walls, so this part and the plate. And these are, I would say, the right size gap. Uh, okay, maybe maybe a little bigger than what they should be. But a little bigger is better than a little smaller, that's for sure. That's what she said. Yeah, so these gaps are close to the gaps between the keycaps, which I think is the absolute, which I think should be standard. I don't get why people keep trying to mess with that. 
so many boards end up not working properly because the they they make the gaps too tiny and they don't have the space bar wire in the correct orientation it's supposed to be southward instead of northward so they put the space bar wire here and then the space bar ends up st sitting too low and it ends up grinding against the the front wall of the case so this one definitely doesn't have that problem all right you can see i can put my keycap puller in and there's room to move instead of so i'm trying to squeeze it in and risk scratching the case yeah so you can see the dimensions i would say Pretty close, right? Look at look at the gap between these two keys and the gap between the the bezel and the this key. So look at that, the right side of this key and the left side of this key. Right. Close enough, close enough. That's what it should be. It is kind of hard to to see because of the shadows. You can see the gap here and the gap between these two keys. So that's what ideally that's what you should be aiming for. It should not be smaller than that gap. Looks really dull now with the dark contrast. Well, the color is dull though. It is not. It's not a punchy color for sure. But I get what you mean. If if we have put, I don't know what else you put on it. Some white set, I guess. But again, not mine. And this makes it convenient for me to just ship it out. I don't have to because every time when I do a stream, the, it ends up taking really long. Builds are not taking a long time because I stream it and then I have to take the keycaps off again. I put them on, I take pictures and then I take them off, and it ends up being a lot of time. And because you know, I don't just take them off and put them into a bag, I put them into a tray. Uh, it, it, pretty much all my keycap sets are in trays, and so it ends up taking just way too much time. So when I can avoid it. You know, when, when I get some keycaps, I'm just going to use theirs. No point trying to use my own. Desk mat. Okay, we can get a desk mat for it. Yes, yes. Great suggestion. I... It slipped my mind. Okay. Desk mat. Is this too dark for it? You like the desk mat with this? It helps draw the attention to the board. And it's not a black black, so it, it helps the keycaps look even blacker than they are. Because if it was just a pure black desk mat, then it might be too much black. This is kind of an off black. Okay, so this is the board. Again, we can take a look at it. Oh, now, you have to understand there are fingerprints all over it. I'm gonna wipe it before shipping it, but not for now. See, just fingerprints everywhere. But the PVD coating is pretty nice. Definitely better than most PVD coatings I've seen. For example, this is way better than the one on the Singer. Pretty much no flaws when I was looking at it, whereas the Singer has has scratches and nicks and dents and stuff like that. Look at that, look at that Rama logo. Right? You can still it's still sharp enough. Oh look, that's you. The underside with the 3M custom 3M rubber feet. Just four screws holding it and you can see the anodizing look at look at that 
it you really can't tell that the shades are different or anything like that, right? They look so close, which is almost impossible, honestly. Look at that. Because with most other custom keyboards, you know, with, with seams and stuff like that, you will see that the two, the top and the bottoms pretty much never match or never close enough. This one, it doesn't even need to be close, but it is. Look at that. So this is the side profile. I can't remember if it's... it's yeah, so it's flared on the back and front gives it a very stable and aggressive look I guess very planted uh, yeah that's the word I'm looking for very planted look so this one is not the default weight it comes with so for the this one it comes with a rose gold or gold I think I think a gold right gold PVD coated brass piece but this one is the silver or dark silver I guess it's supposed to be silver right? yeah yep so that's the board look at that it's got a big forehead or a five head if you will You talk about the singer brass on stream, can't find a video. Singer brass. It was the unboxing for my blue one, I think. The one where it's the polished brass. Testament to Rama's evolving manufacturing QC process. Yes. So yeah, I was I will say I was impressed. I, I still do not like the the way the plate ended up being. I think that that is a major oversight. The plate really needs to be tight because two things, right? It's hot swap and integrated. Hot swap, you need the plate to be as tight as possible so that the switches don't have wiggle room. And when I say tight, I don't mean too tight. I mean just tight. It needs to hold the switches firmly in place. You shouldn't be able to just shake the switch around. Whereas you can do that definitely in here. You can just move the, the whole switch. I've shown you on the during the unboxing. And that's one thing it's integrated that means if that means you cannot replace it on your own so let's say this were top mount or tray mount or whatever mount and the plate was the, the, the default plate wasn't tight enough then you could just try to get someone to make one hit up bad news caps he makes some sick plates you know you could get someone to make some plates for you or just get it get an acrylic one cut to, to where it's precise you, you can you can do something about it it's integrated so you're fucked right most people I think wouldn't care very much about it I think people should I definitely care about it uh, I would say that it's pretty much why what stopped me from getting the Koyu I don't know if it's gonna have the same problems because yeah I if I'm getting an integrated plate and hot swap I do not want to see any kind of gap uh, in the in the switch cutout Oh, same with you, Jeff Stream? Yeah, it's because people say, well, you don't know what the code is going to be like. Well, you know, we can only base it on past performances, right? So with the M60, this is what it is, and you know, it's like the biggest board ever. And so, I, yeah, I don't know whether they're going to fix that for the Koyu. Oh, we'll, we'll wait for that. Okay, so let's plug it in, and I'll, I'll test it real quick. Man, I still have to have dinner, and I have to... I'm supposed to work on a 10 minute presentation for class tomorrow and I haven't started on it at all. I have not even looked at what the assignment is. I just know it's supposed to be 10 minutes long. <laughs> yes, I have not even looked at what it's supposed to be. Okay, so. That's not a good sign. 
what let's test the other so number one and number six maybe it's the feet that I what the hell wow what what okay maybe maybe it's the f oh wow is there something I should know about is it maybe the screen stabilizers messing with something what is going on that's a lot of keys not working so this is the function key for sure what is this this is also not showing up okay so let's make a note of all the keys not working so one I should write it down somewhere Okay, so one was not working, right? So one, and then is it six, seven, eight, nine? Okay, so six, six, seven, eight, nine. What else wasn't working? U and O. And then bottom right key. Right winner OS key, I guess. Okay, so those are the keys not working. So we're gonna take the keycaps off and pull the switch out to see if it's something we can fix. If not, maybe it's the. Yes, it really is. Yeah, so it's why I, I did what the. We're gonna, we're gonna take it apart and look at it again. But it's why I did what. Wilbur suggested, which was to put in the switches from the inside in the middle first. So yeah, we'll we'll take it apart and we'll look at it. Everybody, stay calm. Zeal, are you gonna release a, a, a Zephyr with hot swap? It's amazing technology. I can't believe the Zeno is not hot swap. I'm not buying it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. This is fun. Okay. Let me have to take all the keycaps off. God damn it. Amazing. It's mostly just the ones in the middle, actually.
And there you have it, hot swap. It just works. It just works. Morning, Millie. How's it going? So I have to take these off so that I can take the switches off and then push the PCB in even more and then put the switches back on. So, but it's mostly just the ones in the middle. Is there a black cloud over your apartment? What does that mean? But no, uh, it's not not the the, the fireman on here again. It happened? Uh, was it a month or two ago? There's a fucking fire truck right outside my 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 apartment. Literally just right out my window. They honked at me when I looked out the window too. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, so none of the pins are bent so far from what I can tell. A black cloud is bad luck with keyboards. So yeah, it's because, yeah, there, there was a siren going off, but it was a car siren. I thought you meant like that. I hot swap your Xenos. I love you. Visioner, five months in a row. How's the, how's the new kid doing? How's Grayson? <laughs> how's the new kid doing? I hope you're treating that jet fire well. All <laughs> oh, right, you have, you have a new son too. Doing well, sleeping through the night already. Nice. That's good. How was Thanksgiving with the newest addition to the family? Did you guys do anything special? Or were you guys so insanely tired from the newborn that you guys just sat at home? What the hell is that sound? Holy shit. What the hell? Went over to grandma's house, baby handled it like a champ. So far so good, once you've had a couple kids, third one is routine. I guess so. My, in my family, the third kid was the best behaving one, which was the one that, that is getting married. So yeah, the, the one that we had the bachelor party for. He was, he still is for sure the, the best kid. Hey, 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 how's it going? You here cause Mr. Horologist isn't here?
Vision says, just hope no health issues, which we appear to be blessed so far. Happy and healthy. A little more hectic, but we're managing. Wife and I have been married 13 years today. Got lots of practice. Nice. Happy anniversary. I didn't know. Wow. 13 years before five months with me. It's only getting started. But yeah, speaking of wife, so what, what, one of the things we did for the bachelor party was, so we all play a, a, a you know, we all play Dota. So it's an online multiplayer game. And there's a hero called Crystal Maiden. And I'll give you guys a picture of it. Okay. Helpful, how's it going? Oh no. That was not a good one. Oops. Does that link even work? Wow. I guess it worked right. Okay. So. We had him haul around. This thing. So that's his favorite hero. His most played hero as well. He uses it to, to climb the rank ladder. It's like the quintessential support hero. And he just plays mostly support. And so yeah, so we 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 got a blow up doll from Amazon. I said we but it was my elder brother's idea. Got a blow up doll and then we couldn't get the official Crystal Maiden costume in time and it was really expensive. It was the cheapest we could find it was sixty bucks. And it wouldn't have been the right size. Yeah, so we got an Elsa costume for it because you know, it looks about the same. And then dressed it up. And then, yeah, so he had to carry it around and tell everyone that it's his wife or waifu. That's, that's who he's getting married to. And so for every person he introduced his waifu to, so he had to do, he had to, and there was a, the, 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 there were certain things he had to say too. He had to say the name of the hero. He had to say where the hero's from. So from Dota 2, it's a hero from Dota 2, a video game, you know. And when they're getting married. And his favorite part about her. So, and for every time he tells someone about that, uh, someone new, he, we give him $5. And so it was kind of fun. The first time we brought it out, you know, in the, the hotel lift, the elevator, there was already a lady in there. This is kind of, this is, you know, she's like maybe in her late twenties or early thirties, and she was just trying to keep a straight face because he was just holding her, the, the the doll, and and yeah. So yeah, <laughs> this is I'm getting married. This is my waifu, crystal maiden. And he was saying this and she's like, oh yeah, my favorite part of her is her eyes or whatever shit. Yeah. I can't remember how much money he made. He he made it. It's gotta be almost 50 bucks. He was a good sport though. So even though he 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 didn't really care about trying to make that money, he was at least bringing her around every literally everywhere. Some places were more accepting than others. Oddly enough, I would say the worst glares we got was at that fucking Nerdvana place. The 
supposedly in a board game coffee shop or whatever we probably got the most judgmental glares from there which you would think you know it's supposed to be this nerd place but we ended up getting the most looks from that place can you imagine being so nerdy that you don't recognize fun when you see it you probably just thought oh my god that's so cringy oh my god but yeah we brought her to the internet cafe as well and here here's another picture so this was at the this was at the national video game museum yes that's the thing Yeah, and so <sighs> we had to we went to a boba place and then we had to stop to to blow her up. I said, "Well, blow her up sounds like we're making her explode." But she got really flat throughout the day, and so we had to <laughs> refuel her. in public where y'all go yeah so we went to the National Video Game Museum we went to a land cafe we went to a Korean barbecue place oh yeah she was there at the Korean barbecue place too the doll that was pretty fun so so The, the, the server at uh, the Korean barbecue was like, oh yeah, so do you guys need any help? And then my brother was, no, we're good, but have you met my fiance? <laughs> Ripperino. Okay, so some keys are working now, but others aren't. Do other people have these problems? Now the function key isn't working, right? Amazing. Oh no, okay, this. So N is not working. No, there's 167 and yeah and he he grabbed the plate for her and everything he put ice on the plate <laughs> yeah so this key still isn't working amazing so 167 n and this key uh, shift is working So what could it be? Not the switches, I don't think. Well, maybe it is the switch, hold on. Well, can't be the right, so six, seven. Okay. Okay, so this one, number one definitely is the switch itself. The pin was bent. Six and seven. Oh yes, pin bent again. What? What? He looks thrilled. Yeah, he was 
He was not enjoying himself at the National Video Game Museum. Not at all. He was bored out of his fucking mind. That's why he, the, in the second picture, he found Halo 2 and he just sat there and played Halo 2. You know. He was like, man, today I found out I'm not a gamer. Tally said, I'm doing my very best not to mention any of the horror stories associated with long lost marriage here. Yeah. It's okay though, I'm not the one getting married. Right shift not working all the time. Wait, this one or yours? Okay, let me try that out. so far I think after it was over I was the one who was deflated yeah no one to blow you anymore that sucks yep How long were you married for? Okay, let's see, and then this key, right? So yeah, so I will say this is a great tool for hot swap boards. This so sorry mover. Not the not the IC puller, but this one. Cause you can use it to get between the gaps. Wait, no, not this key. What the fuck am I doing? This key was fine. Man, this stream ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I still haven't eaten yet. So what key is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be a second function? I guess it's supposed to be the second function key. Whoops. Maybe. Let's see if everything works now. Switch puller is good for shorting the PCB. Wait, really? Is it the perfect... This one? Oh, I see. Ten minutes after the forty-five k wedding, she told me straight up that she didn't really love me. Holy shit, dude, that is that is rough. That's really rough, man. I am fifteen years to finally put an end to that. Brian said, "I think I'm gonna take a long break from keyboards. No problem, no problem at all. I think that that." That's the nice thing about the hobby. You can take a long break and when you come back, the group buys are just starting to ship out finally. So you can just get right back into it. But yeah, no worries. But for those of you who don't know, Brian does review other things, not just keyboards. On his blog, you should check it out. Brian Lee Reviews. Yeah, wow, listen to that. The high point, oh no.
Bomb Break is one matchup delivery. Matchup still delivers faster than most group buys, though. This Vivian is the most amazing thing ever. Is that the Japanese workwear clothing thing? Tally, yeah, 45,000. So this is 45,000 15 years ago, because that's a lot of fucking money. There is a lot, a lot of money. Is everything finally working now? Okay. Yeah, just holding out, hoping that maybe you could change your mind or something. Truthy Fire says, did you have PCB issues when you built the KV 8 x I have not built it yet. Oh wait, no, I have built one, right? No, I didn't have issues, I don't think. But that was a long time ago. Wait, did I build an 8 x Maybe I haven't. Actually, maybe I haven't. Have I? No, that was a 19 x I have not built the 8 x yet. We're waiting on ZUV2 switches to build the 8 x The black one. Brian says, yeah, they designed their own proprietary fabrics and only use natural dyes. Was that the... Did they make the two... Was it flannel shirts that you bought? Tally says, monument to my foolishness that I could overcome her. Spite with patience and understanding. Yeah. That. Especially because most people are like, Oh yeah, if you just try hard enough, it'll work. And, you know, fortunately a lot of times it might not be that way. Whoever mans the messenger chat is being really unhelpful. Oh, Facebook Messenger? Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of help there. You might want to use Discord for that sort of stuff. Messenger, I would say, is best for order problems and not technical support. That's how I do it, at least. If there's a technical problem, I would contact them on through Discord. If it's an order thing where I just need things to get sorted out quick, then I use Facebook Messenger. Step caps and regular caps lock controlled by the same diodes. Ah. Uh, yes, it should be. $800. Damn, dude. But hey, at least they won't have analyzing problems and they won't ship you on without a PCB. One minute says, I have some in the mail, but USPS hasn't delivered yet. Talking about LEDs, they were supposed to arrive last Thursday. Should we see my steps, caps, steps, caps lock, menu key, and indicators, LED indicators do not work. Imagine getting on about a button. And you have to use your own buttons that you bought from Walmart, like the crappy white and black ones. 
Okay, so I think it's finally working. Hot swap. It just works. It just works. Man, I am trying to get really hungry. All I had to do was see Okay. Finally, got it done. And I also got one of those key bags from the UK. I didn't, I also didn't get the kin bags from, the TX bags from kin as well. Brian says, they're so sick. Wait, they're talking about the Visvim boot, boots? Brian says, but I don't think I can pull off their Native American inspired stuff. Are you appropriating my culture? Jazzstream says, as a native Canadian, I don't know if I want to try to pull off rubber bottom moccasins. Brian says, the design is very respectful of Native American culture. It definitely has the right to do it, but I'm like a culture appropriating piece of shit. Really? I don't know, man. People, people are kind of weird about that stuff, though. Like when, you know, when my elder brother got married to, to his wife, you know, we had her wear, you know, a Chiang Sam and some Chinese traditional clothing. We all thought it was the greatest thing ever, right? It's, it's not, the fuck is wrong with that? It's just appreciating culture. And, you know, I wouldn't mind if other people start, you know, if white people here started wearing Chiang Sams as well. That shit is, that shit looks amazing. But, you know, the hell is wrong with that? I think people... People get confused between appreciating culture and appropriating culture and stuff like that. And it gets really annoying, especially when you're the minority and people try to speak for you. Like, oh my God, look at that person. He's wearing a Chinese traditional garment or whatever. I'm like, I don't care. They're, they look great in it. Who gives a shit, right? That's cool, you know. Someone's representing it. I'm not wearing that stuff. If you're wearing and keeping that thing alive, great. Good on you. Yeah, but again, yeah, that's why I said it's it's appreciating and and, and all that and people are kind of weird. I think that what I hate is when people go for where the rage is just and the anger is misappropriated. It's channeled in the wrong places where you know you get people upset about some of these things and it's like, why the fuck are we pissed about this thing? You know, you just want to feel angry. Go, f you know, there's so many bigger issues to feel angry about, and of course, you know. Every hole on a boat is important, right? But some of the bigger holes on a boat, it's like, dude, just, you know, just, just, just this thing really does, it shouldn't be your, your primary talking point or whatever. But I digress. I mean, what I, what I will say is I just hate that. Yeah, people put their energy in the wrong places when it comes to race problems. And it's always... And what I don't like is that the recipients of racism or whatever, the discrimination, don't get to dictate the conversation. You know, other people who are, oh, I'm defending them. And, you know, they force you to talk about what they want to talk about. Like, Shut the fuck up, right? I don't really care about this clothes stuff. There's this thing I want to talk about, which really matters to me and to a lot of us. And then you're like, ah, just, you know, so for example, you know, Asian Americans or just Asians in general, the thing that's really unfair for a lot of us, not just, you know, in terms of um, Hollywood representation or just in media, not just Hollywood, uh, you know, all that about being subservient and stuff like that, not just that, but very practical things like, you know, having insanely low acceptance rates in universities. That shit is something that really matters to us, really bothers us, really affects us. And we want to talk about it. And people are like, blah, doesn't matter, you know. 
And uh, and then he's like, but have you seen this person wearing this dress? It's like, dude, I don't give a fuck. You know, and they're like, no, 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 you have to talk about this, you know. And that that to me is the annoying part. Or when they try to tell you, when a perpetrator is a racism, try to tell you how to combat it. Then that that's annoying too. But that's that's another story. But let's do the timing test real quick. How do you hate people who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch? Yes. Okay, so so at least we got everything working now. That's good. Oh my God, HHKB. Jetstream, thank you for the five months resub. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, let's see what else was. Well, it's Jetstream is not just that, cause so for example, another annoying, another example, a hilarious example, was when one basketball play, one guy in the NBA, you know, black guy got pissed off at. Uh, what's his name? I don't even remember his name. Jeremy Lin for having dreadlocks and he was like oh yeah you know you're appropriating my culture you know why are you using dreadlocks and so Jeremy Lin was like well yeah because I appreciate it you know I'm, I'm but and then he said you know he's like I also like the fact that you have Chinese tattoos you have tattoos of Chinese characters and I think that we can both try to appreciate each other's culture and that there's nothing wrong with that and yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Guy with Chinese tattoos calling another Chinese guy out for having dreadlocks. It's, yeah, so it's it's just fucking dumb. How fat that Pepsi says people really like getting offended on behalf of others. Yeah, and it was really annoying because yeah, so. 
especially you know I'm in Texas right and just like what Texas breakfast says racism in Texas no way yeah you know that is breakfast in Texas you, know, you have racism with a side of bacon and, and maybe some some orange juice and and yeah so people would tell me what to be upset about and it just pisses me off that's the thing that pisses me off the most because I will say you know I will say you know one thing and then they're like yeah but what about this other thing you should and I'm like dude you're, 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 you're not the 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 ethnicity that, that that's being discriminated against what the fuck are you telling me about you know like you don't get you don't get to see it from my perspective you you, you know You'll never understand it, and it's like the why you're telling me what I should or should not care about. Yeah, people get really you know, like you should be upset, but you should be. Dude, those are just outward things. Like you know, it's very. I don't really care for those things. Those those minor, you know, those just kind of superficial things. You know, just other more practical things that that I think are that need fixing and need more energy. And focus. Tali says, I like that Anthony likes those pizzas. Think of the appropriation trail in that one circumstance. Malaysian Chinese person is a Christian educated. In, well, I was. I grew up in a Christian family. I'm not, not Christian. Educated in American. Yeah, exactly. Which is why which is why in Malaysia, you know, we don't we don't really care for that. You see Indians wearing Chinese garments like, oh fucking amazing, you know, we will all they really really don't care. And then you got over here people just being you know and a lot of times the Which I guess is which is why the difference is, you know, if you're wearing it for a say an event say for a wedding or something and you're really just wearing it then that's one thing and then if you're just saying oh I'm making it a costume for Halloween I'm making a, Holly ha a Halloween costume you know where I wear a Chinese garment and then you know put on a rice hat you know I'm, I'm a Chinese I'm a rice farmer or whatever okay then that's then you know that's kind of clear right we can see okay one's this one's that you know one is really appreciating something one is just making it into a costume and trying to you know caricature or something yeah that's you know but people mix that up people you know so someone wearing it at an event you know just just because it's a nice dress it's a nice shirt it's a nice pair of pants a nice garment overall people just wearing it and then people just get <laughs> absolutely reprehensible you know, it's, oh, it's just it's just annoying <laughs> like a nice razor i don't know it, it, it the board doesn't sound as terrible as i thought it was going to be i think people kind of blew it a proportion. It really doesn't sound as bad as I thought it was going to sound like. Maybe it's because of the PPT caps. I am using Cherry Profile PPT caps, so it's already supposed to sound like it's basically it's going to make this thing sound the best already. So it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Where's my? And so these are also Zeal switches. Also, I think these are 65 gram tray mount plateless build, but this is a GMK caps. So with PPT, it's gonna sound even better, but. I'm not saying it sounds great. I'm saying that it does not sound horrible. I I, I assume the worst. I, people, uh, it's the worst sounding board ever. So the old man. But again, maybe it's because I am using this and it's hiding a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm. Again, it does not sound amazing to compare to some other boards that I've tried. You know, I would think that with PBT caps. I could definitely make it sound lower pitched. But yeah, it is. It is higher pitched. I think you definitely want PBT to go with it just to soften it. Because otherwise, I yeah, it's gonna sound really sharp but it is definitely not the worst board I've, I've heard not not at all honestly it's not the worst it's really not the worst people are saying it's the worst thing ever or whatever I'm like, nah. it really isn't I've I've built other custom boards that's that that the case sounded worse for sure and then of course you, you compare it to preview boards and it's not even a contest right those are gonna be horrible yeah because some people are like, oh it's the worst thing ever it really isn't right I would say in terms of 
where it sounds kind of average, you know. And yeah, it makes things higher pitched. Though. Again, that's why I wouldn't buy it. And these are stock zeal switches, by the way. That foot house again, he's a space by type of whole sentence. What do you mean? Hey, my brother, how's it going? Mighty fine shindig. This is the Imsto Japanese Black and Black. You start selling marriage insurance. Some cultures that are blue racism whistles are the most racist. So yes, for example. The Chinese in China, for example. You know. If it's any slight against them, it's it's, it's oh my brother. <clears throat> But, you know, they use really, you know, just in common tongue, uh, really uh, derogatory terms for a lot of other races, you know, for white people, for a lot of Southeast Asians as well, uh, Middle Easterners, just, yeah, monkeys, dogs, you know, they use all these terms. And it's, yeah, it's part of the common language like that's it's not like it's some oh you're using a racist word like it's literally just the way they they, they they it's just something that everyone uses and so yeah so there's a lot of that and apparently that's not a problem but if you say something that will piss the Chinese off and Lad farmer. <laughs> Bill Burr, yes. You remember, yes. Bill Burr is one of my favorite. That's where the absolutely reprehensible is from. <laughs> it's one of my, it's probably my favorite line from him. He's talking about, about Tiger Woods dressed up that blow up doll like a Disney princess. Oh no! Appropriating white culture look at him flaunting his choco tofu oh yes actually brown really dark brown is it pieces take out the inner weight and you'll tell the difference that's that's worked though i want to have dinner it's going to be a three hour stream already i don't want to take out the inner weight but but yes for sure zeal i'm not saying that it sounds great right i'm really not saying it sounds great but with the internal weight it's not the worst thing but yeah i can see it being even worse with the without the internal weight. I guess I could do it right now, but I have a lot to get done before tomorrow morning. But oh well. Oh, that means I have to put it back in again. Fuck. Crippled. How's it going? And bug whisper. How flat that Pepsi? Yes, which is why, which is why, yeah, the, they, they, I, I, I've never tried to defend Cuckoo for sure, but you know, cause that's just bullshit. And yeah, I mean that's why TNC ended up getting punished by Valve, and I think that that's definitely true. But what I'm saying is that, as someone who is Southeast Asian Chinese. And it's all too familiar with with all the shit that we get from from mainland Chinese. Yeah, it, I mean, they. So what I'm saying is that that again, I'm not defending Cuckoo and some of the, and you know his, his stupid Ching Chong shit, but the overreaction from the the Chinese community was 
uncalled for as well and I was just using that as an example of of, of some cultures being you know the most easily offended but also horribly racist okay so we're gonna take the internal weight out right I always forget how chunky the internal weight is. Do you think it'll sound better than the CA66 or will it sound worse? That is the question. Yeah, key chatter and switch chatter when testing PCBs. Yes. That key chatter can only happen in switches. What happens in PCBs is because the tweezers you're using or whatever you're using is just brushing against the... the switch pads or whatever too quickly so the program thinks there's key chatter but really there isn't by the way the the internal weight is heavier than the i think the rest of the case as in without the brass piece hey give sub thank you so much Tally? Yeah, Wonder Millie was not subbed. Absolutely reprehensible. And yeah, how flat that has it? Yes, I absolutely agree. That, you know, my, my, my brothers and I were talking about it, we also agreed that, yeah, that was just dumb shit, you know. You already knew it was a problem and then you just tried to make it worse. Another key chatter when testing, yeah. And then I think the the PHP that happens, I've had the most key chatter with, with in terms of testing. Again, it's not actual key chatter; it's just it's showing up as key chatter. Well, uh, are the legal PCBs for sure? Another manager isn't fired yet. Well, he will be now. Tay got hit hard, dude. The bullshit cover up. Okay, so now let's try it without the internal weight. So if you want to compare, just rewind in the VOD and compare these two. Do you hear that? I love 
love you. Hello, <laughs> Millie. Thank you for the gift sub to Face Shifter. Face Shifter, welcome to the Footlong Sub Club. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear it, but the ping is insane. We've got a new ping master. Right, move aside IBM. Yeah, I, I don't think it's, it's getting caught on camera, but here it is insane. Every key you hit. And when I say ping, I mean the actual ping and not... Some people really have been messing up the, the definition of, of ping. But typically when we say ping, we mean like when you press the keys, you hear the resonance. Like there's a ringing that goes on after a key is depressed or, or is, is, is reset. You can hear just ringing. It's like you know how when you hit a tuning fork and then there's just that ring that goes on there. Resonance, yeah, so. Oh, that's just a tune by some noob. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, who would make these switches? God damn. That ribbon ping's really bad near the standoffs. Two fifty bits. Thank you so much. Says for not being subbed and for having to deal with a hot sub PC. <laughs> Dude, this ended up being as long as a build, right? It ended up being three hours long. What the hell? Okay, now to put the weight back in. Cripple says I got a raffle special artisan for my Skydosh order. The blackout food. That one looks nice. I think I saw the picture. Looks pretty good. Figure I could get more if I try to sell. I know I sold my Fugu for 120 back then. I got the original Sky Doge Fugu, the original one. That was the only artisan I've ever bought, and I sold it within a week. Because at first I thought I was gonna get the full Sky Doge collection, and I think I ended up selling some other kit anyway. So I just like, ah, there's no point holding on to the artisan anymore, so I just sold everything. The extra money. Help make the decision easier too. Look at these fingerprints. Damn. Do you think any designers will ever make custom foam sober inserts for their boards during a buy? Oh, whoops, wrong screw. So, the Pearl, for example, had a custom foam. Laser cut foam piece for between the plate and PCB. So definitely not the first thing ever. But yeah, hopefully more people will look into that. Brian says, by the way, my Real Force R2 comes in tomorrow. Do you think maybe, hey, maybe that's why, man. Honest, you know, now that I think about it, that's probably why. You thought, oh, I'm going to lend her the HHKB. It's the worst thing ever. All right, if you lend me the HHKB, I'm not going to be your friend anymore. Let alone go to an EDM concert with you. Yeah, so hey, maybe the Rail Force around two will have you'll have better luck with that. But you also don't want to get the the full size one. I love you. <laughs> you also don't want to get the full size one. You don't want to get the the Jet Systems High Pro because then maybe they'll think you're overcompensating. Also, what happened? Tally with the gift sub to Bug Whisper. Thank you so much, Tally. Yeah, Tally's catching up. He's got a lot of gift subs now. Time 
to whose board is it? Not mine. I'm shipping this one out. Yeah, we're talking about Pearl, but the Pearl, and yes, this belongs to the same person that had me build the Pearl. Do you want to hop on some COD 4 before bed? See you guys. Alright, see you 100 million. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the bits. Brian says, to be honest, I thought I had a chance still last week. Oh no. Dude, you gotta tell us what happened last week. Bagel Crush, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, we are gonna end soon. But you still made it, so you at least got to see the finished M60. Yeah, I am going to end soon. I haven't had dinner. I need to have dinner, and I have a lot of things to do. I don't even think I'll be sleeping tonight, actually. I have a, a test tomorrow, and I have a 10 minute presentation that I have not started on at all. So I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight. It's gonna be fun. Brian says you're showing signs and being super engaging. Oh, I'm not like this. And then what happened? Try to stop all of that, even if I have a remote chance. It's still too unhealthy for me to keep dwelling on that. God damn it! Why are you? Why are you such a rational, principled man? That for just make me dinner also please. I'm just heating up pizzas. That's all I'm doing. I need to save money. So thankfully last week I think I had instant noodles at least four dinners. Four or five dinners I had just instant noodles to save up for, you know, the past weekend. And yeah, I spent I spent a lot of money last weekend. Ugh. But it's okay. Only one bachelor party, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Presentation, I expect a full re school recap story. Okay. If, if so, yeah. It's that class, Heron Brother. That class with that, that tattoo in the back, on the back girl. The one that says that her workplace lets her use her creativity. She can wear funny socks and cool hairpins. Teleport is plugged in here, send a pizza over. All right. Hope it doesn't get disintegrated. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be good. Uh, hopefully I don't I actually come up with something. I know, right? I really hope something juicy happens as well. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so this is the board. I'm gonna look for someone to to raid right now. See if any of my friends are online streaming. Let's see. Okay, so definitely at least one Lego. That's Lego, that's Fallout. You wanna do Lego? We haven't done a Lego build, uh, Lego stream in a while, right? Oh, Mr. Horologist is here too. Should we do that? Either that or Lego or Final Fantasy. Which one? Should we do Mr. Horologist again? else is going on let's see makers and crafting there's a lot of a lot of crafting going on right now actually Christmas Lego sets as well. Horologist? Alright, we'll do Horologist then. Let's go there. Let's go there. But in the meantime, oh, let me run the credits. I forgot about that. Run the credits first and then we'll do that. Where the hell? Okay. There we go. Roll credits. Uh, will it show up here? I think it shows up here instead. Okay. Yes. And now we're going to Ray just had a big giveaway. Ooh. One year anniversary of Rolex. Damn, that's an insane giveaway. Holy shit. I missed it. 
Okay, thank you for the cheer, Chokan, 100 milli NGB. And for people who sub today, and for the gift subs, Tally, thank you so much. And 100 milli had a gift sub as well. City at night, NGB, not negative, Milky Doki, Blimey Boy, Base underscore Bad News Cast, Visionaire, X, Jetstream, 100 milli, Face Shifter, Bug Whisper. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Tally says, Anthony has a secret crush on a tattoo girl. No. Holy shit, no. Please, no. I would rather cut myself. Okay, so we're going to raid there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate you all being understanding. You know, I wasn't able to stream last week. It's good to be back. Good to see you all again. And I will see you all Friday. In the meantime, have a good week. And we'll see you on Mr. Horologist's stream. Goodbye and good night.